so great to see you again. Tell us why you've been putting on this festival for 15 years in a row. Well, thank you for having, having me. The Department of Parks and Recreation is so proud to put on our American Indian Festival once again for the 15th year. And Prince George's County is a melting pot of people from many different backgrounds. So we know it's important to celebrate all of these cultures, American Indians especially. They've got a deep, valuable history in our county with tribes like the Piscataway and the Akakik who are essential to Maryland farming and its fur trade. So the department felt it imperative to host an annual event so our residents can discover and learn about this rich, diverse heritage. That's really wonderful. And how has it evolved over the years? Well, we started it as a celebration with uh, performances by local Native American Indians, and it has grown tremendously. So this year, attendees will enjoy activities like musical performances, drumming, singing, dancing, and storytelling. Then we've got exhibits and demonstrations like native horsemanship, regalia, archery, even live birds of prey. So there's something for the young as well as the young at heart to enjoy this year. Wow, so much to see and to do. When and where will it be? This year we'll be at Patuxent River Park in Upper Marlboro on October 21st from 10 to 4 p.m. Admission and parking are free. Oh, that's great. And Angel, where can people go to learn some more? Learn more about the festival as well as our other programs for American Indian Heritage Month in November at pgparks.com. Excellent. Angel, thank you so much. I hope that it's another wonderful, successful festival. Thank you so much.